Hey folks, so this is my uh, this is my Frogger. So it's coming together pretty good. So I had my uh, my brother had got me. If you guys remember, my brother got me this uh, uh, the guts of a Frogger cab uh, that was kind of beat up. So you know, I got the control panel from that, the the bezel, the marquee from that, and then I got this. This is actually a nice plywood. It wasn't actually a Frogger, it was a, um, I think it was an Astro, I think it says it on the inside, what did it say it was? I thought it said it, but yeah, maybe not. Astro City, I don't know, it's some other Sega game. And I got this cab, really cheap, it's a nice plywood cab, it's very solid. The front of it, I didn't like the coin door, it was, it was uh, the super long ugly coin door and I didn't really like it. And I'd got another Sega Gremlin cab, uh, and I'll show you that one. Let me walk around here. This, uh, which is a shame, it's this Rygar one. But the vinyl, I mean, it was destroyed because this side was all beat up. It has cool Rygar stuff on it, and I actually have the control panel. But I don't know if you can see in there, I just took the front of it off, and I put the front on this other cab. Which is actually pretty easy to do if you're just pretty. Let me let me pull this control panel off. I need. I still need to do the um, bolts, clean the bolts up. This had some more graffiti on it. I'm, I think just I gave it a magic eraser touch with some simple green. I'm gonna do that some more. Maybe use a little IPA just a little bit to clean it up. But so this is the original. Oh, here we go. Original Frogger control panel with the harness. But in here, if you can see, um, along the bottom, there's just a st like a uh, strip of wood there, so you attach it to the front, and then glue and screw it onto the bottom, and then there's some some little uh, uh, bits of wood there you do the same thing with. So I cleaned it up. It looks really nice. It's got you know the original stuff on the inside, which I like. I'm gonna, I need to get a coin lock for it. Around the front bottom. It was kind of splintering off, so I, anything that I could come off with my fingers, I took off and then I bondoed it. So I'm going to give that a nice smooth sand and paint it black. Uh, this original bezel in here is kind of, I don't know if you can see it, it's a little bit beat up, but I mean it's, I don't know, it doesn't look bad. It looks decent, so I may just keep it for now. Uh, the Frogger marquee had some writing on it with marker, but that comes off with... Uh, just a little elbow grease that came off and it looks really nice. Um, so I actually have the original Frogger um, CPU or the your PCB I mean. I have that. Uh, it's not 100% working yet so I'm, I've got it on my workbench. I'm going to try to fix that. But in the meantime, I want to get this running. And the, the, the original Frogger monitor I've got, I got that from my brother as well. It uh, is a Geo 7. And it, it wasn't running either. So it's got some kind of starlight thing going on it. So I'm going to fix it. But I had picked up some Zaxxons in that warehouse raid. And the monitors from them are, are, are just beautiful. So this is a Wells Gardner. The picture looks great on it. You'll see that in a bit. But... Um, so I'm going to use that monitor. It fits. It's a say, you know, 19-inch vertical mount. It just slides right in. I've already attached it with some screws, uh, like four screws to hold it in. And then I've got this ISO transformer and 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 power setup down here with a switch that I'm probably going to mount on the bottom. I needed a new piece of plywood that I put on here on the bottom, and that's that's fine. Uh, but until I get the um, my, my 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 real PCB working until I get that working. I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to drop this 60 and one board in it and just have it set up just to boot to Frogger until you know uh, for the meantime uh, until I get the other PCB in. That way this will be running. Uh, it's got I've got the original harness and I actually have original all the corn door wiring and everything like that. So I can get this. My you know my plan is to get this back to basically. 100% uh, original Frogger, and you know, I don't think, I don't think I'm going to go any side art. I've looked at the, you know, I, I chose this cab over the other cab for a couple of reasons. This one is the light plywood cab, which is just super nice. I mean, it has held up really well. Um, 
in the vinyl. I mean, vinyl is really expensive if you go to get it, and that one is just shot. And I'd rather do this on the on the low lower side of the budget. I mean, the Zaxxon monitors and everything like that I got for free. I mean, the the, the control panel and the and the bezel and everything else. My brother got that for me. I I think I paid 75 bucks for that. So I'm gonna be in this Frogger. I think all said and done. Um, once I get the PCB and everything running, uh, you know, it's going to definitely be under 200 bucks. Um, and the 16 one, you know, I, I like to have one around just to use for testing and stuff like that. It's very easy to test boards and other things to test monitors with. But um, it's also good for something like this. I could drop it in this game and use it until until I get the original one working. So anyway, that's like a little update. Uh, maybe I'll shoot some video uh, along the way. I should have probably shown, you know, taking the front off, but it really is quite easy. I've got some pictures I'll add. All right. So I'm going to replace the, the, the old switch that was just with that, which I had, which actually, I, I mean, it works, but I don't know. I think that's a little rough, and I'm going to replace it with this switch, which I have, which has a nice little um, plate on it. So I'm going to put that in here. Um, just about like, let's see, just about like that. So it'll somewhere where it's and then pop it in, and we'll have the switch on, and uh, should be good. So I wired this up now. I just want to show you what it is. So you, I just follow the power. So the power comes in from the plug, goes in here, and you've got the white black as the power that's tapped into the white black that was already here that goes into your ISO transformer, um, through your line filter there in the back, um, and you get 120 here going into your switcher. I also tied the ground, the field ground into the field ground of the ISO, right? So I need to tie ground into the chassis or something, right? To get that, so at least it's grounded. Um, let's see, from there, what else did I do? So I've got the 120, I've got to, got to uh, put a little twist ties on that, uh, nuts and wire nuts on it. So that's the 120 going up to the light, to the marquee. And that sound is coming down, it's on um, number 10. So there's two long white wires on number 10. So I just, uh, they have these little spade clips, I didn't need them, I just split them off and I'm just going to solder them on. So that'll be on there. Um, what else? So I put the JAMA in, you know, the switches down here, switch it on and off. And then I wired in the RGB sync into there, into that monitor. I just used the adapter that was already with the monitor, it was snipped off here and boom. So I just snipped the wires and soldered them and wired them back in taped it back on it. So I turn it on, flip the switch, and then it comes on. And uh, let's see, oh, it's so dark, so bright out, it's gonna be hard to see. And especially with the, uh, the glare and everything, but the picture actually looks really good. So I just, now I need to go in and um, mess around with the credits. I'd like to get, I want to get this just to play Frogger. I mean, eventually I may move that around as well, um, and I'm going to want to get it wired up to the control panel. So before I do that, I mean, it, look, it's working. I've got got sound. The light, of course, it's bright out, but I know the, the light works. So the next thing I need to do is just, I'm going to clean up this control panel. I'm going to clean up the um, screws on that, and then I'm going to uh, solder in the player one, player two. And I think I'll probably put in, I probably will wire this up for coins as well. It should be pretty easy because I've got the wires right here on the inside. So I should be able to just wire them up there and do that. The other stuff that's with the original like Frogger cab, I'm just going to leave in there um, for now. Alright, so we're making good progress here.